The tabling of today's budget would not be in vain even if parliament is dissolved soon, Finance Minister Tengku Datuk Seri Zafrul Tengku Abdul Aziz said. He explained that the 2023 budget takes into account the future plans for the country instead of only focusing on the present. He said if we look at the budget, it is focusing on the future direction of our country. Zafro was earlier asked if the preparation and tabling of today's budget would be futile should parliament be dissolved before debates on the budget could be concluded. He added, as mentioned, the GDP this year is between 6.5 and 7 percent. We also have our target deficit, which is 6 percent, and next year the target deficit is 5.5 percent. So, if you basically that question should be posed to the prime minister, but in terms of the what will happen. Uh, is that, um, let me just make sure that it's quite clear on, so that you all understand uh, the process, right? For, because this has happened before in the year 1999. So if you refer back to what happened in 1999, um, there was a budget was presented, uh, there was a dissolution in the 1999, then the budget uh, was then presented uh, again. So that was what will happen if there is a dissolution. But again, that question should be posed uh, to the Prime Minister. Ekonomi global memang tahun depan agak mencabar berbanding dengan tahun ini. Uh, IMF dan World Bank juga telah menurunkan uh, apa, uh, apa fokus mereka ataupun uh, jangkaan mereka pada tahun uh, 2023. Uh, in fact, the focus the GDP growth atau pertumbuhan KDNK dijangka masih lagi masih lagi positif di antara 2 hingga 3%. Ya. Dan, dan Malaysia juga akan terkesan sedikit kerana tahun ini jangkaan kita ialah 6.5 hingga 7%, tapi tahun depan ialah 4 hingga 5%. Uh, Oleh itu, bajet yang kita umumkan hari ini uh, agak memberi fokus kepada isu-isu yang dapat menangani uh, ke kelembapan ekonomi global pada tahun depan.